Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, we're going to be doing another showcase for the game Deadly Sense Retribution. And I'm also going to be showing like my build and all of that stuff. So, yeah. We'll just be doing that. Alright. Alright, see, so for my race, I have Demon, which if you watch my other deadly sense video then you'll know that and my magic is blaze and as you can see i have 18 tries and 27 tries down here but yeah pretty soon um after more codes and stuff because i really want sunshine so i can showcase that so i'll be like saving codes and um getting pumpkins for as long as like that's out before they update it because i really want sunshine so I'm gonna get a lot of tries, a lot of spins and try for that. So how am I gonna change that back? Yeah, every time you come to the customization screen, it always changes your eye color and your um eyebrows. But yeah, but I'll be, um, whenever spins come out, well, well, whenever codes come out for spins, I will do video, I will do a video and I will, you know, I'll put the, um, the code on here so that way you guys can have it if you need it. Um, but it's in the discord also, if you're in the discord, so you'll be able to do it that way but just know yeah I'll be putting it in here all right so I'll wait for it to load in See, you can see the numbers, but the screen's not popping up. Hmm. Okay, there it is. Alright, so, as you can see, I have 112 in strength, 68 in health, um, 2 in mana, 3 in magic, and 7 in mode. See, my build is mainly for, like, as you can see, mainly ser uh, strength, because that will really help you level, and it'll be easier for every, to kill all the mobs, the NPCs in the game. Oh yeah, and I'm level 65 now. So, I'm not sure if I was in another video or not, I forgot, but, yeah. Um, you've seen Demon before, I think. I've used that, well, I'll just show that, I'll just show that too but anyways for the blaze moves we have fireball blaze punch let me equip that um blaze storm and fire form one oh and there's also another fire form it's called overheat um you can get that by it's like it's like a little I don't know wh how, what to call it. It's like a like a dent. There's this thing right here in the ground. You basically just go down there and you use all of your blaze moves in this little crater thing, and then it'll say it'll show you that you'll have a spark. It'll say it, but you have to be in the Discord to see it. But yeah, I don't have it, but I know it's still available for now. I'm not sure if it will be after the update. But yeah, I'll just go ahead and show the moves. So here's the first move. Oh, I missed. Let's see. I'll use it again. Try to get the aim right. Okay. So that did. Uh, I'm not sure how much damage that did. But as you can see, my normal punches, I do 
49 damage. So, let's see how much damage it does. Okay, yeah, that does 51. Uh, it's alright. It's nothing too, like, drastic. Now for the second move. Alright. Okay, yeah, so that was really good. I think each hit does 5 damage, but it hits... I think, well, let me see. I'm not really sure if that was 5 damage or something else. But, as you can see, it took about, it took all of his life and he only, like, had to hit him one time for him to, for it to finish him. So, that's pretty good. Okay, we're going to skip the form um, after we try this again. Okay, so it does 35 damage each time. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. So we're going to skip the um, fire form and use that last. So we're going to use the punch. I think they did like 45 damage. I'm going to try it again. Okay, yeah, it does. It does 46 damage, but... I was close. Yeah, so that's pretty neat. All right, I'm gonna reset so I can um have full mana. But yeah, I'll get into why I have my stats the way I do in a minute. All right, now the last form it just boosts your magical attacks and your strength. I think it says it, like shows it on here. Fire element form that boosts melee and magic damage. So yeah, it boosts all your magic moves and especially your strength. So remember, I do 49 damage without it. So then when I activate it, I do 74. So yeah, that's um so like that's like 30 something more. Yeah, 74 points, so yeah, you do more damage in this form. So, yeah, I really like that. And so, um, basically, the reason I have my stuff set up the way I do, my stats is because it's like easier to level and beat mobs with a lot of strength. So, always be sure that there's a lot of strength. Um, health, I don't really worry about that because as you level, your health will go up, so I don't really put points to that. Mana, I just put a one point because I don't really use mana for like all of these moves. I wouldn't use normally playing the game, I'll only use the fire form, and that's it. Magic, I just use that because it'll boost my fire form a little bit, so there's three in there. But I make sure to have at least seven or eight in mode. So that way my modes will last longer. I mean, I really don't need mode right now at this point with my strength and my level. But it's really good for like when you go to the when you go to the dungeon and use it that way. So I just put seven in mode so it'll last longer. And that way my hits will be stronger for a longer period of time. So I'll show you with my demon form. Oh, and also, um, I can't wait because tier 2, Demon Form tier 2, that will be coming out in the update. So, I'll be showcasing that here too. But, I mean, they were supposed to update it last week, but I don't know what happened. So, they didn't really get to it or something like that. But, it, they, they at least gave us the code I put out in the other video. So, here's the Demon Form. I'm going to take off the armor so you can see what it actually looks like. I know uh, pretty much most of y'all know what it looks like, like on your body, and how this one actually, um, like the changes it does, it just makes like as a little demon mark on your forehead. 
see so you have all this and there's a mark so yeah that looks really nice I really like that and I can't wait for the tier 2 form I know you'll be able to fly like the goddess clan so yeah that's really neat and see with this we do 65 damage so not as much as um the fire form but it's still it's still a lot it's still a boost so that's really good and plus i'm not i'm just using normal combat when i use my swords it'll be more for um both forms see i do 80 when i use my um holy daggers but if i'm in my fire form i do like i think it was 108 107 108 one of them but yeah they're really good for just getting through NPCs easily especially in a dungeon like the way I do it I'll use one form see you see how like I have my demon form activated right now so I'll use this while I'm fighting and then as soon as it runs out I'll use my fire form and so that way I'll always have a form because you know I just keep going back to back from both of them so that's really neat I like that it's really cool and that's the main reason I really like blaze is because like the form is really nice it's op and especially when you have a lot of strength like i do but you can do it that way so that way um it'll help you level up really like really fast and after you level up you can always reset your stats it's 25 robux to reset so if i um get enough spins and if i actually roll and spin for sunshine and get it i'll actually reset my stats and probably put most of it in magic so but yeah if I do get it I'll be showcasing that but I just know for now the one I'm, I'm definitely doing is the update when it comes out so yeah that's pretty cool I'm not sure if any of you like I know a lot of you have probably been on a dungeon quest already but I'm gonna do it just to show you like how I actually do it with the stat boosts and all this stuff from the modes so yeah oh yeah and I um I played and testing for this game but I took like a long long break and so I actually started this game back like last week I think and I was level like 14 and 15 and so I just basically put all my stuff into strength mainly and just was grinding on the ice bandits weak holy knights and the um earth bandits to level up and the thing about that is yeah i, I made a video about that i don't know if you guys have seen it already but that video is already out about how to level up fast you don't have to do the quest or anything you just grind on them per level so we'll be doing this dungeon quest Alright guys, um, we're back, we're in the dungeon, and I'm going to basically just show you like how these stats help, especially with the bosses, um, I forgot how to pronounce his name, but let me just put my armor back on, so I can show you, and so yeah, this is basically the order I always have my, my skills always these three my um blaze moves then my demon mark glass and i'm not really sure about these last three spots if those were like if they're gonna open those in the future or something like that but it would be nice to have them all so that way i can like equip more than one thing at a time so all right and yeah this is the boss oh yeah he drops the armor that i have on now and basically once you beat him and he drops the armor you have to be level 60 to put it on and it gives like a 60 stat boost for defense I think I gotta look for that but I know you have to be level 60 to equip it yeah it gives 60 physical defense so All right see so how I always start it off I always start off with my demon form first because it's weaker than my fire form. Got 
had a pumpkin. Oh yeah, that's another way to um really get spins. Use the pumpkins. Well, that's until the update. So, and the update is gonna be pretty soon. It just, it just depends on when they get it out. But I use my pumpkins for magic spans because I'm gonna probably stick with this race until um, they release art for the goddess clan for the goddess race, and then I'll spin for that and I'll do a showcase on that. But but see, it's fairly easy. It's, it's you only take like one combo to kill them. With these stats and um, the demon form, so it actually without the demon form and just normal combat, it only take like one combo also, but it just gets it done faster. So yeah, that's really nice. Oh yeah, and if you were, uh, whenever they do the, whenever they do events to where NPCs drop stuff, it's always best to grind like holy knights. We call it nice because they always drop the most. Like, it's more common for them to drop them than any other NPC in the game, other than the Lightning Bandits. Because I know they, I got, I think it was like 45 just from Lightning Bandits. And then I got 90 from the We Call Knights. But I've never spent it on the sword and armor. I've always just spent it on spins. So, I just did it that way. And it works out nice. But I really like Blaze, the, um, yeah, the magic I have now. But I will eventually try for Sunshine. Okay, see with the boss. Well, see, my mode's still on, so I can go ahead and just try with him. But you always watch out for their attack, so. Because they can turn invisible, so I just jump. Okay, so it does 90 damage. I thought it did more. But you can see he's already at about half life. And so, yeah, that's really good. And I'm not taking too much damage, so. See how easy he was? Alright. Let me see. There's And sometimes there's another one, another boss that pops up here. You don't have to do him, but I did because he the the second boss is the one that actually dropped the armor that I have on now. So that was really nice and like it's cool. So and I really like these holy daggers too. See the um, design and effect on them. And I saw in the Discord they had another guild thunder sword, but I'm not sure when they'll be adding that. But whenever they do, I'll try to get that too. Oh, and um, lightning's gonna be coming out in the update. Um, not the next update, I don't think, but it's gonna be coming out in one of the updates. And I've seen a little bit of that, and it's really cool too. In the lightning mode and form and stuff they have for it, so I might have to showcase that too. But I really just want to save spins for my um, sunshine, and so. Alright, and this is always the last boss in the game. Sometimes another boss will pop up here too after you defeat him. So, I'm just going to use my Demon Mark. You see, cause I just use them back to back. See, it doesn't do as much damage, but it's still like better than normal combat. Yeah, see, he has some... He's like, I think he's level, what they say, 98 or 88. But there's also, it, sometimes it'll spawn in a level like 98, 99. Because I fought them too. Level 76. I think the lowest one I've actually fought in the dungeon was a level like 55. 50 or 55, but. Um, they're all pretty easy as long as you just hit them and then dodge their attacks when they go invisible. Oh yeah, I think that was um Bond in the the um cell. I forgot who that was, but I think it was Bond in the in the cell. The Sam uh the Sam Fox. 
Sand Fox of Greed, I think. I'm not really sure. But it's really nice. And I can't wait because I've seen that they had an Escanor boss um, that they thought about doing in the future. So if they add that, that'll be cool too. See, he's almost dead, so. And I use it this way, like, with just my forms because my mana stay up. And that way I can just go back to back. Because, you know, it takes a lot when your um, mana is low to use your blaze form. So, um, I always just like to do that anyway. I don't, so I don't really use any type of magic. I just use my forms in normal combat. And that's usually the best for me, and especially leveling, leveling up. See, look. Um, like I was saying, after you finish the boss, there's usually a second boss that pops up just like him. So I'm going to go ahead and do him too. See see how much mana it took for me? But that's because um, my mana is low. And they, they're supposed to be add Leons. I think it's called Leons or Lions. I forgot how to pronounce it. In the update and then um other places and worlds you can teleport to and so i think you have to be like a certain level to do it i'm not sure what they were talking about but i know those are going to be really nice um they were talking about the the one mode for the sunshine users um adding more races like the giant clan and things like that uh one thing i did like because like they have a weapons Su suggestions in the discord and I really wanted like if you know King from the um the anime his um his spear he doesn't really like have to hold it to use it he can just control it with his um because he controls the magic on the inside of it so I really like that and I really wanted them to add that to the game like you'll be able to just have your weapon flow and then wherever you click or aim your mouse it'll be able to go and attack so yeah, that's really nice, and I really like that. So, and also, um, yeah, I think I already talked about the arc that they were gonna add to the Goddess Clan, but yeah, that it was, it's gonna be pretty OP and really nice. Cause my friend has a Goddess Clan, and he has he has a Goddess Clan, and he has wins. So that goes really good. Especially with me, because, you know, he's like the exact opposite of me. I have the Demon and Blaze. He has Goddess and Wind, so. Yeah. Oh, but he's like a, and he's a, he's a higher level than me, so. He's like level 89, I think. He's close to um, becoming max level after like 10 or 11 more levels, so. Yeah. And I think it was Bond in here, in this cell. Yes. Oh, and you can also just keep doing these dungeons for XP2. I don't really do it because it's, um, it takes more time than what it takes to just grind on normal NPCs. But you can also just keep doing a dungeon quest if you want to. And plus that'll be an easy way to get... Um, drops from events on the week holy nights especially but like i was saying it's still you can basically do the same thing on the outside with the other week holy nights but don't forget that on the outside there's a limit to how many holy nights spawn like per kill i think there's a hundred that spawn at a time and after you kill all 100 of those then you have to wait until the um guild thunder quest comes back but after that, after the guild thunder quest pops up, then um, you'll be able to do it again. But like I always say, what I do is I'll go from, I'll always start on the week holy nights because they drop the most pumpkins. So do those until they stop spawning because you already killed the max. And after they stop spawning, you just go to ice, um, grind on them until the guild thunder quest pops up, then you just go back to them. And so yeah. But anyways, that's it for this showcase. Thank you guys for watching. Just like, comment, subscribe. 
and um, please give this video a thumbs up and be sure to comment like other videos you guys want to see just let me know other games too because you know I said I'll be doing a few games um, I'll be adding one punch videos pretty soon after these videos so yeah um, I hope you guys enjoyed it later